Man shoots and kills his 11 year old daughter before killing himself in Miami last night. Vehicle crashes into a building near downtown Joplin today, striking a gas main. Take a look at this. It happened earlier today near 14th and South Main. City workers fired. The mayor resigns. But what led up to that explosive Frontenac City Council meeting is what we at KSN are trying to figure out with a Kansas open records request. A Monette man is facing multiple charges in connection to a body that was found in Lawrence County. Correction facilities in Kansas are overcrowded and the safety of inmates and state employees could be at risk. One person is dead and two are injured in a fiery crash on Interstate 44 this evening. Just around 7, a tanker truck heading west near mile marker 14 crossed the median, breaking through the guard cables, running into oncoming traffic. The truck crashed with another semi, causing the second tractor trailer to turn on its side. The tanker also hit a pickup truck with an attached trailer and a small SUV before catching fire. We just need all the forecasts because we need you to say there's no rain on Saturday. Yeah, really. yeah. in fact, if you're hunting maple leaves, we can tackle those two <laughs> at the exact same time. Ethan, Arkansas baseball preparing for the college. World Series. I don't think we're going to like it, though. Yeah, you're facing Florida State. You yeah. may like it. Your team may we're win. both Florida of... State alone, no, no, no. though. They'll, they'll Arkansas has a big, powerful lineup, though. That's okay. the thing you guys should be worried okay. about. Yeah, but... It's a growing issue across the state of Kansas, especially in rural communities. New data from Child Care Aware of Kansas and the Department for Children and Families shows there are not enough child care options available for families. A Granby man behind bars this evening for allegedly holding a store clerk at gunpoint and robbing the business. Four people are arrested in connection to a drive-by shooting in Pittsburgh back on June 3rd.